it's Miss Freeman and this is my dog Tucker. I know this looks a little bit different, a little bit different from our classroom, but I just want to go ahead and come on here and tell you um, that I miss you guys and that it's not the same um, as being in a classroom, but I hope that this website that I have launched is going to help you. So what you're going to notice on this website is there's some critical information that you're going to need. Um, so below this video, there are links, important links. One of the biggest links that you're going to need uh, for this entire process until we hopefully go back to school on April 13th is the Zoom link. It says in big letters, Z-O-O-M, Zoom. Um, insert Zoom. Zoom. Make my heart go. for that but you know what OG Disney was the best okay so anyway back to what I was saying uh, zoom is where you're gonna be able to find me zoom is a online conferencing uh, kind of application that you can put on your Chromebook which I know you have um, and you'll be able to access and we'll have a live virtual talk I might be able to clarify some things for you um, and when it comes to instructional I might even be able to tell you a story or two about history that you need to know um, so what you're gonna go ahead and do is there is a schedule below that, a Google Calendar below that, that has my learning session time. So every single day, I have different learning session times. Uh, typically Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, all the days of the week, except Tuesdays, have pretty much the same schedule. I'll come on and I'll be in the, in the chat or the video conference for about an hour each session, uh, and the times vary below. Uh, what I want you to do is to double check to see which time works best for you. Uh, I'm clearing my schedule. It's not like I have anything else to do. It's a freaking pandemic. I'm literally sitting here with my dog. I was really happy because I was able to do my makeup today, even though it don't look on fleek like I want it to. Uh, for my parents who are worried about all this online stuff, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible as well. The district is also trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, for you as well as for the students so that we can get out the best instruction as possible during this time. Again, we are in uncharted waters. Never in my so many years have I ever thought that school would be moved online. Do I like it? I don't know. I just miss y'all like tremendously and making our jokes. So <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. I just want this website to be the best source of information or help for you when it comes to social studies. Uh, you guys are my KI Falcon historian, hence the name. Um, so I went ahead and I did that. Yes, we are historians. We are not just students. We are historians. We are learning history. Okay. So um, if you click the tabs too, uh, there's also going to be some tabs on this website that if you click on it, it's different units from the year. And I'm going to try my best to make videos um, reviewing that unit, maybe telling a little bit of the stories like I tell them in class. Um, that way you kind of get a review and a refresh and you don't lose that awesome knowledge that I know you have from um, this previous year. Uh, as far as we know, when school returns, uh, hopefully we'll be starting back up April 13th. But if we don't, uh, of course I'll come here and make a video and I will let you know what everything's looking like and what the district's deciding. Uh, you can also text me. I have my number down below um, in my contact. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, there's my email, my contact, and also I'll put my phone number there. Feel free to text me, call me. I mean, my phone's on me 100% of the time. So if you need me, I'm here. If you just want to talk, hit me up. I'm here. Um, if you just want to like have a dinner with me. We can eat dinner. I don't mind doing that. Uh, you know, just to catch up. I really miss seeing you guys' face and seeing how you're doing, how your lives are doing. I know sports are canceled right now. Um, so I'm just curious. What's it like for you? What is your routine? Are you waking up at 9 a.m. or are you waking up at 2 like me sometimes? Um, so, you know, also my schedule, I try to be as accommodating as possible uh, with my schedule. I know some of you have younger siblings. You might have to watch them um, until mom or dad gets home or until someone gets home to watch them so you can do your schoolwork. Uh, so I, I've gone ahead and I've, I've done one of the later slots of the day. Um, I know Mr. Woods only gave us so many like slots to do during the day and I chose the later one at 6 and 7 p.m. on Mondays 
Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays uh, to accommodate those who might need a little bit later or if you're just someone who wants to sleep in and do your schoolwork later, like I totally would do that. Then you can log in at that time um, and just come say hi to me. I'll try to share some lessons some stories, how I'm doing, how you're doing, just checking in um, and making sure that we are continuing our high quality instruction and that we're not just sitting around being bums like I have been because I've been a complete bum. I've watched all of Netflix, all of Hulu, so this is fantastic just being able to sit here and like start creating something for you guys. Um, so yeah, you guys are my why and you know, I just, I miss y'all so much. I just, I just miss ya, you know? Just like a, like a grand mama. I just miss ya. I just miss ya. Come here, sugar. I miss ya. Y'all think y'all are probably cringing and you know I like to make you cringe period. Um, anyway, so I love y'all. I hope you're doing okay. Please stay tuned onto Schoology, onto your email, on your phones, on this website. Um, just hearing about what things might be due and also like, you know, what are we working on and that kind of thing. For right now, uh, for this week, up until I think it's March 30th is next Monday. You are working at the at-home learning that KISD has put out on the student net as well as the district net. Bye, y'all.